Hello friends, you know how exactly does 3D printing works? If you don't know, sit down, and let's get started. 3D printing is a highly versatile method of production and rapid prototyping. Over the last few decades, it has been making waves in many industries around the world. 3D printing is part of a family of manufacturing technology called additive manufacturing. This describes the creation of an object by adding material to the object layer by layer. Throughout its history, additive manufacturing has gone by various names, including stereolithography, 3D layering, and 3D printing, but 3D printing is the best known. How does a 3D printer work? The process of 3D printing begins by making a graphic model of the object to be printed. These are usually designed using computer-aided design CAD, software packages, and this can be the most labor-intensive part of the process. Programs used for this include Tinkercad, Fusion 360, and SketchUp. For complex products, these models are often extensively tested in simulation for any potential defects in the final product. Of course, if the object to be printed is purely decorative, this is less important. The slicing process is usually completed using a special slicer program like Craftware or Astroprint. This slicer software will also handle the fill of the model by creating a lattice structure inside a solid model for extra stability if required. This also happens to be an area where 3D printers excel. They are able to print very strong materials, with very low densities through the strategic addition of pockets of air inside the final product. The slicer software will also add support columns, where needed. These are required because plastic cannot be laid down in thin air, and the columns help the printer bridge the gaps. These columns are then later removed if needed. Once the slicer program has worked its magic, the data is then sent to the printer for the final stage. From here, the 3D printer itself takes over. It will begin to print out the model according to the specific instructions of the slicer program using different methods, depending on the type of printer used. For example, Direct 3D printing uses technology similar to inkjet technology, in which nozzles move back and forth, and up and down, dispensing thick waxes or plastic polymers, which solidify to form each new cross-section of the 3D object. Multi-jet modeling uses dozens of jets working simultaneously, for more rapid modeling. In binder 3D printing, the inkjet nozzles apply a fine dry powder and liquid glue, or binder, that come together to form each printed layer. Binder printers make two passes to form each layer. The first pass deposits a thin coating of the powder, and the second pass uses the nozzles to apply the binder. In photopolymerization, drops of a liquid plastic are exposed to a laser beam of ultraviolet light, which converts the liquid into a solid. Sintering is another 3D printing technology that involves melting and fusing particles together to print each successive layer. The related selective laser sintering relies on a laser to melt a flame retardant plastic powder, which then solidifies to form the printed layer. Sintering can also be used to build metal objects. The process of 3D can take hours or even days, depending on the size and complexity of the project. So how work the 3D printer, step by step? Step 1. Produce a 3D model using CAD software. Step 2. The CAD drawing is converted to the standard tessellation language STL, format. Most 3D printers use STL files in addition to other file types such as ZPR and HDF. Step 3. The STL file is transferred to the computer that controls the 3D printer. There, the user designates the size and orientation for printing. Step 4. The 3D printer itself is set up. Each machine has its own requirements for setup, such as refilling the polymers, binders, and other consumables the printer will use. Step 5. Start the machine and wait for the build to complete. The machine should be checked regularly during this time to make sure there are no errors. Step 6. The printed object is removed from the machine. Step 7. The last step is post-processing. Many 3D printers require some type of post-processing, such as brushing off any remaining powder or washing the printed object to remove water-soluble supports. The new object may also need curing. 3D printers are incredibly versatile. They can, in theory, create
create almost anything you can think of. But they are limited by the kinds of materials they can use for ink and by their size. For very large objects, say a house, you would need to print individual pieces, or use a very large 3D printer. 3D printers are able to print in plastic, concrete, metal, and even animal cells. But most printers will be designed to use only one type of material. Some interesting examples of 3D printed objects include, but are not limited to, dash, prosthetic limbs and other body parts, homes and other buildings, food, medicine, firearms, liquid structures, glass products, acrylic objects, movie props, musical instruments, clothing, medical models and devices. 3D printing clearly has applications in many industries. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you found something new, please subscribe and like. See you on the internet.